Hi everyone, I'm DavidBaby27 and welcome to the demo of the indie horror game, Jacob's Journal. Okay, select the chapter. I think I'm going to go for number one since two and three are coming soon. Chapter one. February 1st, 2016. As you travel back to your old home, you begin to feel nervous and regretful. It is dark out. The house has been abandoned for like 10 years and you can't believe no one has even remotely bothered to touch it. As you take the turn and see it in the distance, you see that the lights are on. But how could this be? You questioned yourself but yet no answers come to mind. No one could be here. It's impossible. You come at night because you want to try to catch whatever is in your house. You're you're only here to find your old journal. Okay, this isn't making much sense, but let's go with it. Well, it is making sense, but it's like, who would do that? Um, It has the answers to everything that has happened. I hope that nothing has messed with it. I hid them around their house so that he couldn't find them. You pull up and enter the house. Walk to your bedroom on the left. Okay. I mean, for a place that's actually been untouched for 10 years, it's rather clean. And I mean, has it really taken 10 years for them to completely move out because you still got boxes around this place? Anyway, huh, the door's locked. Oh, for fuck's sake. Of course it is. Okay, well, I can't go to my bedroom, can I? Walk to your... I just did. Oh, maybe it's up here. <laughs> I was going to say. Okay, so this... Must be our bedroom. Oh my lord, this does actually look rather creepy. Uh, is that... That is, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Roman Atkinson, Mr. Bean, Black Hatter, whichever character you can think of right now. <laughs> oh, can I, oh, okay, I can open this door. Do I have a flashlight? I do. Beautiful. Okay, well, this room's just box... Oh, hello. There's a journal. Oh my lord, how 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 small does that writing want to actually be? I'm pretty sure I should read it, but for now. Um There we go. Okay, did I pick that up? I'm I'm a bit confused. How do I pick stuff up? Is that You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> uh I guess that means I picked it up ish. As long as you read it. it behind door number two, another journal. Read the journal entry on the bed, then find the three other entries, then leave the front door. Well, I've already found one. <laughs> so you've got to find them in a particular order. Oh, I guess I should read it then. Entry number one, uh, 24th of the 6th, 2005. Uh, hello, journal. Well, I guess this is how... Can I zoom in? Yeah, it kind of makes it easier if I read it like this. There we go. I, I need to kind of zoom in because the writing's a little bit bigger. Hello, journal. Well, I guess this is how I will be documenting this new move. This house isn't that special to me, and it's freaking creepy. Got a point there. It's old and gross, and it's probably haunted. LOL. Not to get my hopes up, but ghosts aren't real. I bet they fucking are in this. This isn't much to talk about now, so I guess I'll write more later. Okay. Okay, we just have a house that's full of axes. Ha! <laughs> Fair enough. Can I explore anything else? These doors look like they, they can actually open. That's if I can actually speak. Right, so I guess I will now read this one, which I did... Well, not read, but I saw originally... Uh, zoom, get out of my way. Yep, bugger off. Bugger off. Go away. I want to read the bigger. I want to read it bigger. Piss off. Ah, oh, sorry, I'll read it like this then. Uh, today went smoother than yesterday did. Considering that I got to stay here for almost an entire day, the house hasn't grown on me one bit. The moving guys still haven't fought, fought, oh, brought, <laughs> all the furniture yet. They only brought me and my mum's bed, the couch, the dresser, the TV and the table, the kitchen table and chairs, and our pool table. We found a spot for everything that they dropped off, but we still can't find the key to the locked door. 
Ooh, <laughs> I actually, I don't, I don't know what that was. That was kind of like, ooh, like that's a, a, a mystery, <laughs> something to solve. I bet that's going to be well as scary shit is. Anyway, I actually thought that I might have heard some kind of movement in there. I don't know, though. Fuck. That ain't a good sign. I mean, hopefully this ain't the room they're referring to. Fucking hell. Right, so, okay, we've got a Iron Man. Beautiful. Okay, so where should I go now? I guess anywhere. i just got to find some more journal notes. There's a TV, a very old-looking TV. And, yes, another journal. Can I interact with TV? No, whatever. Let's see what this journal is going to say. Okay, that's number four. I, I, I guess I should actually, like, find and read number three first. Um, you know what? Fuck it. It's here. Let's do it. Hey, journal. Yeah, I know I took off at... Uh, blah, blah. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah, I know. I took off for... Uh, I still can't... I am so sorry. I'm really struggling. Yeah, I know. Dot, dot, dot. I took a few days off. Dot. There we go. I was just too busy. I'll be turning 14 soon, so I wanted to go make some new friends and maybe have a party later. It's also been hard to sleep at night too. I sometimes feel like someone is out there watching me, yet I know that there is no one... No what? I know that no one is there. Well, that, that was pretty much the same thing. My brain's getting ahead of itself. I know I said that this house was probably just getting into me, but I think that it's much more than that. Okay, so the story is obviously unfolding. This house... Oh, hello, toilet. Nope, I don't need to use you. Well, not now, anyway. <laughs> I might need to use you later when I fucking shit myself. Okay, so what entry number is this going to be? Is this going to be number five? Oh, so this is number three. Okay. <laughs> you would have thought it would have been the other way around. Number three would have been on there. Anyway, whatever. Um, journal. Just got back from Taco Express. Yeah, we have to eat out ever since we moved because we sold all of our kitchen supplies. Fair enough. Uh, poor move on my mum's part. Oh, no, I did get that right. Also, today I walked by the locked room. Oh. <laughs> and I swore that I heard someone walking around inside the room. Oh, I don't like the, the sound of this fucking room. As soon as I heard it, I called out to my mom to get her to come and listen with me. Or see if, it's, if, if she maybe happened to find the key and get in. But then I remembered she was at work. I walked away from the door to go watch TV and the doorknob... Oh, to the locked door moved as if someone was trying to open it from the inside. I don't know why, but I get this horrid feeling of something behind me. <laughs> That's like really fucking creepy. Um, I think I was just too tired and was imagining it. So it's whatever. Okay. Well, we know the kid was all right because I think we are that kid and we've come back to our house. Oh. Okay, so... This ain't good. I also think... Well, where's this door they're actually talking about then? That's what I don't actually get. Where's this door that used to be locked is now open? Wait a minute. Nope, that's... Oh! Oh, I now know what door they're actually referring to. Oh, fuck. It's this one. It's that door there. The one right at the beginning. The one which I just remembered I went to. I thought it was going to... Our bedroom. Did I hear something? The door's locked. I know the door's locked. I'm very surprised that the door's still locked. Click the doorknob to leave. Um, click in. What was happening though? Oh, there we go. Feb the second. Yesterday you ended up finding several of your journal entries. You remember some things that you forgot over the years, but there are still tons of questions that are rushing through your mind. Your forgetfulness is getting to you and you become more hopeless. Nice. But suddenly you remembered that when your mother died, ah, the house was a lot quieter than before. What could this mean? Was a lot quieter than before? Well, of course it would be. Whatever, uh, I'm, I'm, anyway, um, it was always trapped in that room and hasn't been released since. What? You return to the house because you want more answers on what is 
it that you forgot? Oh, this. Oh, no, no, no. No, this is totally allowed to be quite horrid. Oh, no, 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 no. Did we have some sort of like. I got. Oh, right. I've got to find three entries now. Did we have some sort of like really trauma traumatic. Traumatic experience as a child? Oh, great. And creepy music. Oh, and flickering lights. I hate flickering lights. Flickering lights means scary. Me don't like scary flashlight. Don't like flick. Don't like. Don't like. Don't like. <gasps> yeah, exactly. Ah, oh, what the hell is that? For the love of fuck. Can I open the door? Why ain't the door opening? Right. Whatever. The door ain't opening. What about this one? No. That ain't good. And I got to itch my head. That is a fucking bad timing. There we go. Hello. Oh, fuck me. Okay, there's a piece of paper on the floor. There's a, uh, okay, that's the only piece of paper I can actually see. Can I go into this room? No, you don't want me to go into any of the rooms for whatever the fucking reason. Not like this. Don't be a jump scare. Okay, entry number seven. My mum didn't come home last night. I just woke up and she isn't here. It's like 8.30 in the morning too. To be honest, I don't know why I'm writing this in my journal instead of calling the police. But I think that... Oh, fuck me. But I think that might be a bit much for this situation. She is an adult, so she must know what she's doing. Wherever she is... I don't know. I guess I'll just make breakfast and watch TV. Oh, I don't like this. I really don't like this. I can only go through one door. I've only actually been able... What am I all about? I can only go through one door. I was going to say, I've only been able to find one journal entry. And I can't go through any other doors. Unless now magically I can. I don't fucking like this. It is really getting creepy. Okay, can I now go through this door? No? Oh, I can. Oh, maybe I didn't actually push the right button or I wasn't actually standing in the right place before. Oh, here we go. This is probably going to be number six, isn't it? No, number five. <laughs> I clearly skipped two. Um, okay, today was weird. Very, very, very very weird. Not only did my light turn off, that is weird, but a box in our storage closet fell over on its own. <laughs> god damn in this house is... Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. Oh, I can't read to save my life, can I? God damn it. This house is messing with me now. Whatever is messing with me must be locked in that room. It's gotta be. I'm going to go to... I'm gonna go get to the bottom of this. P.S. I found out that the light was turned off by my mom. Oh, okay. When she walked in, she thought it was funny. Oh, okay. That's random. Um, <laughs> so I guess this uh, note number six has to be in this door. I just didn't click on it properly. Come on, door. Come on, door. Come on, door. Open door. Why is this door opening? Okay, maybe it's broke. I, I just don't know. I mean, it's very doubtful that this room's now going to be open. I think that's going to be like, yeah. The final... The final door to explore at the end of what's actually happening. Oh, wait there. Can I now go into the toilet? Did I try to go... Yeah, I did try to go into the toilet. Oh, where the hell is this last goddamn no? Because I can't go through these doors. Come on, door. Oh, there we go. Oh, fantastic. I managed to open that door, but there's no fucking journal note. So that must mean the journal is behind that door for... Okay, I've read that one. Did I read that one? Let me just double check. Is that number seven? It is number seven. Ah, oh, so it has to be this door, but it won't open for some reason. That is really goddamn annoying. Oh, there we go. Now the door opens. Do anyone in? No, there's nothing in here. Good. It was pretty quiet today. Nothing to really report other than I woke up randomly at four in the morning. I don't even know what woke me up. I just kind of, I just kind of, you know, woke up. Oh, what the fuck? I, 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 I think 
this might not actually be so much a horror game like a jump scare scary creature monster thing i think it's more of a really horrid tragic horrific story that's what i think it's gonna be okay well we should be able to leave now yep i'm clicking on the knob probably not the best choice of words i'm clicking on the door handle let me leave let me leave come on there we go feb the third yeah, even more entries were found and more questions have been answered. You feel a small sense of relief. Well, not really. If anything, I'm feeling more anxious and tense. Every time you enter the house, you feel as if someone is watching you. Yeah, no shit I do. A chill runs down your spine. It fucking does. As you realise that it is still there. What is still there? Still living in that house. What? In that room? Fuck, what are you referring to? You show up to the house yet a third time and you see that the power is out. Oh, for fuck's sake. You hear strange noises. Great. Inside the house and you see figures flying around inside as you fucking do. For fuck's sake. You see what has been haunting your house for all these years. You turn around. Fuck off. <laughs> I would seriously I would I, I think I would genuinely have a heart attack if there was something there you turn around to run away but it's behind you you have nowhere to go you run into the house oh fuck <gasps> go find the entries just some epic music to set the mood thanks developer shit in balls oh oh Oh, do, 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 I don't like this. I can't fuck it. Okay, that, that's moved. That pool table's moved. It's, it's so fucking dark. It is ridiculously... Ah! Oh, fuck off! <laughs> okay, I take that back. I thought it wasn't going to be jump scare, but it fucking is. <laughs> I didn't actually see anything. I just heard a really horrid scream. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, game. Fuck you. Uh, da -da -na. Da -da -na. Obviously, I can't go through that door. Oh, I can't. I can open it. Oh, fucking hell. That ain't right. That ain't normal. Fucking furniture's floating. Oh, go fuck a duck. Oh, I see pictures as well. I've seen this picture before. It's in um, Dungeon Nightmares 2. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, shit, I'm looking for the entries, aren't I? Which is obviously very hard to do because it's so fucking dark. Oh, fuck off, fuck off. Fuck off. Hello? Okay. I think that furniture on the TV just fell. Great. Okay, don't want me going that way. Thank you. Fucking dickhead. You want me to go... Oh, hello. I don't see any journal entries anywhere. i got to get out of here. No. No, you don't. I can hear something. I can actually hear something. You want me to turn around, game? I ain't stupid. Oh. Okay. Oh, fuck me. There's... Oh, for fuck's sake. Something's going to happen. Something's gonna... Oh, shit, that's just a lie. That's how nervous I'm getting. Come on, Dave, get it together. You know something's gonna happen. Just fucking man up. Jesus, fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, fuck off. Nah. Oh, it, I bet it wants me to probably go into this room, don't it? You want me to go into this room? Get out. Who's saying that? Is that something behind the door telling me to get out? Click the doorknob to leave. Really? Okay, I'm... Um, what? End of... De oh, well, it is a demo, to be fair. So that was actually... Talk about leaving, uh, you know, leaving it on a cliffhanger. Jesus! Right, so there we have the demo for the indie horror game at Jacob's Journal. And I really like that. I like the story. I like the build-up. I very much hope that this game does get completed. Um, but anyway, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like and subscribe as it really does help the channel to grow. Also, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching and supporting me. And I will see you lot in the next one. Take care, my friends.